Welcome to the second part of Pipe Music with Decimals. Uh, we've already looked at one addition example, so let's have a look at another one. Uh, this time I've eaten 1.8 chocolate bars in the morning, 1.4 chocolate bars in the afternoon, and I want to work out how much chocolate that is in total. Over here you can see I've got my one whole and eight tenths, and here's my afternoon chocolate, one whole and four tenths. Well, just like that last time, I'm going to start by combining my tenths. And I know I'm combining them because it's an addition problem. So I'm going to start by moving these tenths up here to see if I can make one more whole chocolate bar. And there I have. And I'm going to move these other tenths up there as well. So now it's easy to see that I have one whole chocolate bars here two whole chocolate bars here, because of all the tenths that I put together, or the ten tenths, three whole chocolate bars there, and then I've got these two tenths. So that's three holes and two tenths. And just like last time, let's see if we can do that without the materials. 1.8 plus 1.4. Well, if I wanted to use a number line, I could put 1.8 here, I'd need to jump up 1.4, so I could do that by perhaps jumping up a hole first of all. That's jumping up 1. 1 1.8 plus 1 will take me to 2.8, and then I've just got the 4 tenths that I need to add up. So I'm going to do one more jump of 0 0.4, or 4 tenths. Um, so 2.8 plus 0 0.4, I can imagine that actually is 2 jumps of 0 0.2 if I liked. That might even be easier. 0 0.2, and another jump of 0 0.2. So in total I'm jumping up 0 0.4. Well, 2.8 plus 0 0.2 is 3, plus another 0 0.2 takes me to 3.2. Now let's see if we can answer it another way. 1.8 plus 1.4. This time I want to change 1.8 into two holes, because that'll make this question easier. To move it into two holes, I'm going to need to add two tenths. And I'm going to get those two tenths from here, so this side is going to get smaller by two tenths. So 1.4 minus 0 0.2 will equal 1.2. And now I've got another easy question to answer. Two holes plus 1.2 equals 3.2. Now I'm just going to change that question slightly and we'll see what happens. Let's imagine that in the morning I eat 1.82 chocolate bars and I still have 1.4 in the afternoon. So you can see this is the difference. I've managed to have two hundredths, a very, very small amount more. Let's just go straight into using a number line for this one. So I'm going to put 1.82 on it and I want to jump up 1.4. I'm going to do exactly the same as last time. I'm going to jump up one hole to start with. 1.82 plus 2.82, sorry, 1.82 plus 1 equals 2.82. And now I've just got these four tenths to, uh, to join on. So now I just need to add these four tenths here. Well, if I added one tenth, that would take me to 2.92. If I added another tenth, that would take me to 3.02. Another tenth would take me to 3.12. And another one would take me to 3.22. And that was just by adding those four tenths. Notice how the hundredths amount didn't change. And that's because over here, I didn't have any hundredths to add to it. So 1.82 plus 1.4 equals 3.22, or three holes, two tenths, and two hundredths. Now let's have a look at a subtraction question. Um, I've got 3.4 chocolate bars and I give 1.9 to my sister. I want to work out how much I'm left with. Well, over here you can see I've got my 3.4, three holes and four tenths. So let's start by taking away the hole. I'm going to take away this hole here and you can see that I'm now left with 2.4. Now I'm going to take away these 9 tenths, 
but you can see I've got a problem already. I've only got four tenths here, so I'm going to have to break one of these holes into tenths. And we know that there's ten tenths in a hole, so I'm going to swap one of these hole rods for ten tenths. So now it's easy for me to take away my nine tenths. I could take away these four, and if I take away these four, that means I'm going to have to take away five more from up here. One, two, three, four, five. So now you can see I'm left with one hole and five tenths. One point five. Now let's see if we can use one of our addition and subtraction strategies to answer this question without materials. So we've got 3.4 and we want to take away 1.9. Well, let's start by using a number line. I could put 3.4 here and I need to take away this amount. Well, I know that 1.9 is really close to two holes, so I'm going to take away two holes. 3.4 minus 2 gives me 1.4. Now I've taken away 2, but I only needed to take away 1.9, so I've taken away one tenth too many. So to fix that, I'm going to have to jump back up one tenth. 1 1.4 plus 0 0.1 gives me 1.5, which is the answer we got up here. Let's try another strategy. Uh, 3.4 minus 1.9. This time I want to make 1.9 into 2, because taking away 2 is going to be much easier. To do that, I'm going to have to make that side one-tenth bigger. Now remember in subtraction, I'm trying to find the distance between these two numbers. So if I make this side one bigger, to keep that gap the same, I'm going to have to also make this side one-tenth bigger. So 3.4 plus 0 0.1 equals 3.5. And again, I've now got an easy question to answer. 3.5 minus 2 equals 1.5. Now let's try a question with hundredths. Uh, this question is almost exactly the same. I still have 3.4 chocolate bars, but this time I give 1.91. So I'm also giving away some hundredths as well. So we'll do it exactly the same as we did last time. First of all, I'm going to take away one whole chocolate bar. That's this amount here. Now I'm going to take away my 9 tenths. And just like last time, I don't have enough tenths, so I'm going to split one of these holes into tenths. And now there are 10 there. So now it's easy for me to take away my 9 tenths. I'll take away these 4 and 5 from up here. So we've taken away one hole, we've taken away nine tenths, now I need to take away my hundredth. But you can see I've got a bit of a problem over here, there's no hundredths. So what I'm going to have to do is take one of these tenths here, and I'm going to split it into hundredths. So I'm going to cross that one out and split it into ten hundredths. Let's draw a wee picture to show what that looks like. So remember I'm blowing this up, it's not really this size. Okay, so that's this is uh, one tenth split into uh, ten hundredths. I've just done it that size so we can see it, but it would actually be that size there in those ten pieces. Okay, well the question says I have to take away one hundredth, so that means I only have to take away that little bit there. So you can see that's leaving me with a lot of hundredths. In fact, it's leaving me with nine hundredths. So now you can see what I'm left with. I'm left with one hole, and I've got four tenths, and over here nine hundredths. 3.4 minus 1.91 equals 1.49. Now let's see if we can do that question without materials. So we've got 3.4 minus 1.91. Well when I look at that I think wouldn't it be easier if that 1.91 was actually two holes. So I'm going to want to change that. So it's got no tenths and no hundredths. Well, I could do that by adding nine 
hundredths, because if I add nine hundredths to the one hundredth I've already got, that gives me another tenth, which bumps this nine tenths up to two holes. Now because I'm talking about subtraction and I want to keep the distance between these two numbers the same, I'm also going to have to add 0 0.09 or 9 hundredths to this side. And that's easy to do. That's 3.49. 3.49 minus 2 equals 1.49. Now if you need a little bit more help, there's a good PowerPoint on this at teachertools.co.nz.